Welcome to a video from thedislifes.com. New Windows 10 builds to look at. New Windows 10 builds to look at. This is build 18206 for Windows Insiders on the fast ring with the skip head option. And we'll also be talking about build 17723 for Insiders on the fast ring. Microsoft has split the development now as they do towards the end of each development phase. So if you're on the fast ring, you'll get 17. 723 which is a redstone 5 build and if you're using the skip head option which was just recently reopened you can you'll get 18204 so i'm in on 18204 here on my surface i've got another device next to me running um 17723 and actually there isn't a lot, any differences really there's a couple of minor changes so i'm going to just stick and use this uh, device for now so uh skip head is going to take you to the next uh, phase of Windows development which is codenamed 19H1 which I presume means uh, 2019 uh, first half of the year and uh, all the changes I'm talking about are, are really applicable to both builds now what the main change with this build I can't actually show you but I am going to do a separate video on it so the, the new in this build is something called flashlight and I can show you what to Microsoft um, picture of it is but uh, like I said I'm going to do a separate video of it shortly so flashlight in Windows Mixed Reality is um, Mixed Reality headsets, Windows Mixed Reality headsets are uh, occlusive which means um, you can't see outside, you put them on you can only see what's the virtual world, you can't see anything outside of it what they've added in this one is the ability to peek through the uh, in back into the real world and here you see an example picture of it there. It won't quite look like it. it uses a black and white camera because mixed reality headsets have cameras which work out the tracking so they know where you are and where you're looking. And um, it's going to peek out to, to show you that. So that's quite interesting because normally if someone um, comes up to you, you've got to take the headset up, even if you've got a flip up visor one like I have, it's still a bit of a, of a pain. If you want to look at, say, a physical keyboard, you can't got to flip your visor up. And this is the first uh, virtual reality headset that I know, or virtual reality system that I know, allows you to peek through using these cameras. So I'm going to do a separate video on that. My mixed reality machine is just installed in the, the new build, so look out for that fairly soon. The other changes to this build are all fairly mi minor. There's new group policies for Microsoft Edge. There's new emojis, there you can see the new emojis. I'm not a big emoji user, but there you go, you can see the new one. There's some interesting on the HUD stuff as well, like time accuracy improvements. It now supports, Windows now 10 now supports leap seconds. So um, it means that every time UTC um, updates a second, uh, which has been happening for some time now, uh, since 1972 apparently, uh, they're going to insert that uh, leap second so af after 18 months. So Windows basically supports that so it's not going to drift out of time. And it also supports precision time protocol. There's some changes in the setup mode for kiosk which is kind of a lockdown mode uh, including something called uh, public browsing which runs multi-tab browsing in private and uh, yeah, so if you're leaving a machine out for people to use then that's the, that's the way. They've said they've also improved the query, the sort of algorithm to work out the update time as well. So um, we'll see how that works. I'll uh, I'll uh, let you know as I keep uh, testing these insider builds. So the other changes, uh, you see a lot of uh, these minor ones. There's uh, some fix issues with some of the menus. They fixed uh, multi monitor not working right when you uh, when you're using the mouse. So they're not appearing right. They fixed some defender issues. They fixed some uh, install code issues, some uh, restart issues, and you can see you can have a look through these. I've got a post of these on the digitallifestyle.com with all the the changes in there. Now there are still some known issues. Same new known issues, more or less for both sets of builds. Um, on seventeen seven two three, you may see the notification count. Uh, Sort of um, overlapping with the extension icon, but that's not uh, the case in the 18204. So there's a few minor changes like that. Uh, they're still working on the Dart theme as well. But what this means by this splitting is really they're going to be focusing on reliability improvements for Redstone 5, and the new features are coming through um, for uh, 19H1. Because we've got a bug bash coming up 27th of July, and so that is they'll probably that will be the last book bash and then i would expect a release of this maybe in redstone 5 in september end of september maybe we never know 
Um, but anyway, it's going to be inter interesting watching these. I'm going to end up doing sometimes one video per build or maybe two, depending on what Microsoft released for the skip ahead and the um, 19H1. Look out for my uh, Rick's Reality video coming up soon. Thanks for watching this video. More on thislifestyle.com.